ladies and gentlemen, we have a massive game coming up next Wednesday, as you may know, against Chelsea. I'm not going to call it uh, the the. I'm not going to say that our title depends on it, but it's a big game, and if we can get the victory. It would be very much appreciated and do a good job for us in this uh, quest to lift that league title. So in comes the PGMOL and says, hey guys, you know what? We've got just the man. We've got just the man to put in the centre of that pitch for your game against Chelsea next Wednesday. And that man goes by the name of dot, 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 Paul Tierney. And I'm not even joking. So, the referee, the official list has been given out. Paul Tierney is going to be a referee. Uh, James Mainwaring and Scott Ledger are going to be his assistants. Andy Madley is going to be on VAR. John Brooks, or excuse me, Andy Madley is the fourth official. Uh, John Brooks is on VAR and his assistant is Shean Massiellis. And the only person on that list that I have any belief in is Shean Massiellis because she's actually good at her job. So other than that, I'm not I'm not overly happy. Just nah, that's an understatement. To say I'm not overly happy is an understatement. To say it's a disgrace is probably closer to the truth. So we come straight off the back of two contentious decisions, both involving Tierney on VAR, and the PGMOL, they're, they're laughing at us. Um it's not a joke. They are they must be actually laughing at us. Because I feel like... Do you remember when Mourinho was at United? And he was at the end of his tether. And it wasn't working out. And it was clear that he was going to be going. It was almost like he was daring the officials at United to sack him. I feel like this is what the PGMOL is doing now to Liverpool. Almost like saying, we can do what we want and there's nothing you can do about it. We can do what we want and you're just going to have to suck it up buttercup. So... It's weird. It's it's so weird. Like he referees way more than he should be doing for our games. It's disgusting. Look, the only upside I guess is that it's at Anfield. So if there is an upside, it'll be that well, at least Anfield will be able to G up the boys and get behind them should Tierney and his band of uh PGMOL people uh screw us over. But look Let's wait and see what happens there. Look, better having him as the referee, I think, than the VAR. But ultimately, I know and you know that even if the VAR does their job and Andy Madley said, Paul, I think you need to go to the monitor and look at something, we know Mr. Tierney will find a subjective way to go down on the side of it not benefiting us. Um, so there we go. And I think we need to get loud about this. I think we as fans now really need to start pushing this on social media. We really need to start letting the PGMOL and the Premier League know that this is getting beyond the joke. That why don't they just come out and say they don't want us to win the league? Just say it. Just come out and say we're going to do everything we can to make sure that you don't win the league and that those who are potentially cheating benefit from it. Paul Tierney's ref in the Chelsea match. Unbelievable. I know. But where's the, you tell, where's the pushback from the media about this? Like, I'd love to see James Pierce, David Ornstein, Paul Joyce, Chris Bascom, Quiva O'Neill, um, I guess the lads from the Echo as well. I'd love to see them all write pieces to question. Not because I think they're not doing their job. Because I think it, we're better in numbers as the Liverpool family of, I guess, media, content creators, whatever you want to call it all. I'd like to see a pushback from all of us. So in an ideal world for me, you'd have the Anfield Rap, Redmen TV, Coppish, ourselves, the Echo, Joyce, Bascom, uh, Quiva O'Neill, Pierce, Ornstein maybe. All these people come together and start going, nah, nah, this, this is bullshit. Somebody needs to really look at this and think, why is it happening again and again and again? And why is it that we're not getting anywhere near the average amount of decisions other top sixes are getting from Tierney, but we're getting an adverse amount of games to be officiated by Tierney. Look, the, the stats don't lie. I know people love to say that we're all tinfoil hat merchants, but I've said it before. Read the Paul Tompkins article on Paul Tierney, and if after that you still don't believe that we're being 
hard done by is the most, uh, the, I guess the fairest way I could say it. You know, it's shocking. And I'd love everyone to just push back on it. Because I know, I've no doubt that the lads at Redmen or the lads at the Anfield Rap or the lads at the Echo or, or any Liverpool fans, the lads at Coppish, or, I've no doubt everybody's feeling the same. You know, despite competitive differences or whatever, ultimately we're all Liverpool fans. We all want the same thing, fairness, and Liverpool to do well. So, I, I, I mean, I guess if I could make a plea to everyone, it would be, can we get something going here, lads? You know, can we all push, use our platforms and and start to ask why on earth this is really happening to us? Because, as I said, it kind of feels like that Mourinho at United situation to me where he's all, the PGMOL are almost daring at this, but they're almost saying to us, do something about it. We're, we, we've we got the power here. We can do what we want. You just have to sit there and take it. But we don't. And we shouldn't have to. Especially when we've got the mountain of data to show that we're not just lunatics obsessing about this. There's a valid reason for the frustration. 